Hello everyone and welcome back to Zaglet Educational Channel. So in this video we are going to know the expected cutoff for the UGC NET December 2023 cycle for the environmental science subject. Yes, the exam was conducted on 14th of December 2023 and we will also know what are the factors responsible for the cutoff for any paper. So without much delay, let's start today's video. So before going for the expected cutoff and knowing the previous year trends, so we should know what the cutoff depends on. So the UGC net cutoff depends on the four important factors which you must have in your mind. So first is total number of candidates appeared in the subject. So that means how many candidates have appeared in your subject. For example, if you're taking for the environmental science subject, how many candidates have appeared. So that will also decide the cutoff because we should know the 6% rule for the UGC net JRF and LS. If you don't know the 6% rule, you can click on the link in the I button so that you can know the 6% rule. Next is the difficulty level of the examination. So every year the difficulty level changes. Sometimes it is easy, sometimes moderate, sometimes difficult. So that also plays a very, very important role in the cutoff for any subject. Next is previous year's trend. Yes, the past year's trend will also give you an idea that what could be the cutoff so we can predict the cutoff based on the previous year's cutoff trend because it is not that some year the cutoff will be very very different from the past year's cutoff so it will be somewhere around the previous year's trend and the next thing is considering paper 1 and paper 2 so both these paper combinedly will give you the cutoff because it is not that they are having the individual cutoff for paper 1 and paper 2 all together your cutoff will be decided based on the 300 marks that means 150 questions from the paper 1 and paper 2 all together so even if your paper 2 is little bit of difficult level but paper 1 is of easy level then combiningly it will be of moderate level so we cannot say that paper was difficult level so these four are the important factors on which the cutoff depends on so now we will move on to the next slide to know about the previous year's cutoff and we will predict the expected cutoff for the UGC net December 2023 cycle. So here on the left hand side you can see the cutoff table which was for the last exam that is June 2023 examination for net LS as well as net JRF. So I will read out the cutoff marks. So for unreserved or general category for JRF 186 was the cutoff mark. For net LS only 168 was the cutoff mark. Similarly for the EWS category 180 that means how many questions 60 questions if you are done correctly then it was the JRF cutoff for the EWS category. Similarly for the net LS 156 was the cutoff for the net LS for the EWS category. OBC candidates the net JRF cutoff was 174 marks and net LS cutoff was 154 marks. Similarly, for SC candidates, 162 was the cutoff for NET GRF for June 2023 session for the environmental science paper and 146 was the cutoff for the NET LS in the SC category. For the ST category, 158 was the cutoff for NET GRF and 140 was the score above which if you have scored, you would have received the NET LS qualification. So this was the trend for the last exam that is June 2023 but now we will be knowing about the expected cutoff for December 2023 cycle. So here based on our analysis after going through your response sheet I am having a expected cutoff so it may vary this is just a prediction so this we have just expectedly we have formed this thing so it is not that it will be accurately that but it will be somewhere around that because in the last years also it came around that. So for net LS, this time we are predicting for the general category, cutoff marks will be around 166 or more. So if you are scoring 166 or 166 plus, you are in the safe zone for net LS. Net JRF, it will be somewhat around 182 or 182 plus. So the question level was bit of moderate to difficult level. It was not easy. Similarly, we will know about the EWS category. For EWS category, net LS, our expected cutoff will be 154 or 154 plus. For the net JRF, it will be 
176 or 176 plus for the obc candidates 150 can be the expected cutoff for the ls category and net jrf will be somewhere around 168 or 168 plus SC candidates net LS expected cutoff it can come around 144 or 144 plus and net JRF will be around 160 or 160 plus so these are the score which are safe score if you're having this you should be having the probability maximum chances you can get this and ST candidates 138 is the expected cutoff for net LS and 156 for the net JRF so this looks a bit untidy let's move on to the next slide to get a clear picture yes this is the clear picture which is expected from our team so this we can see you can pause the video and you can see that but don't worry if it is not having you're not having this score also after calculating from your response sheet because cutoff may vary we are just expecting this thing and you have done your work now it's the time for results announcement and also it is not that you will be worried every time whether you will be qualifying jrf or whether you will be qualifying ls so this all are the different thing after the results are announced even if you are not getting to your goal we can prepare for the next cycle because every time there is the next opportunity knocking at your door Don't get disheartened if these scores are not after calculating from your response sheet the results the actual final results are yet to be announced by the NTA UGC we are just predicting this so this was the thing which I wanted to tell you through this video I hope you have got some knowledge from this from the previous year's trends and our expected cutoff so don't forget to subscribe our channel Zaclid for further updates you can join our telegram group for daily quizzes which we will start after the new notification june 2024 examination is announced so there we will be conducting daily quizzes and we will upload also important notes so join our telegram group for further updates see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself so guys there is also a video prepared by our team exactly that is for the number of jrf should be awarded yes how many jrf will be awarded for this year this is actually based on the last year's trend and this is very easily and very nicely explained in this video you can go through that if you haven't gone through this video the provided link will be in the i button and also in the description below so this is important to know how many jrfs are awarded every year for every category in our environmental science subject.